Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the book of Hebrews. Today we're looking at Hebrews chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Now you will recall that in yesterday's session we looked at verses 1 through 6 of chapter 3 and we saw that the author of Hebrews wants us to understand that Jesus is greater than Moses. Now we talked about Moses was the one God used as the agent of the redemption in the Old Testament, the deliverance from slavery in Egypt. And so Jesus is like Moses in that he delivers us from the slavery of Egyptian sin. He, he delivers us from bondage to Egypt. That is the life of sin. He redeems us, but he's greater than Moses. For Moses was a servant of God's redemption. Jesus is the son providing redemption. So Moses prophetically pointed to the greater redemption that Jesus would bring. And that's, we mentioned this yesterday, but I want to emphasize it because that's what verse 5 really focuses on. Notice what it says in verse 5. Now, Moses was faithful as a servant in all of God's house. He bore witness to what would be spoken by God in the future. Moses is a servant of the Lord, a great servant, uh, used by God to bring deliverance from Egypt. But he bore witness to what would be done in the future, what would be spoken by God in the future. So that's what I mean by that prophetic word. Moses pointed to a greater redemption to come, even greater than the redemption from Egypt, as wonderful as that was, that formed the, the Israelites as the people of God. But more was to come, that future redemption to form the redeemed people of God, redeemed from the life of sin. And Moses was pointing toward that. You remember in the book of Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 18, uh, verse 15. Now, the book of Deuteronomy are the words of Moses. It's Moses' final words to the people of Israel. And notice what he says in chapter 18, verse 15 of the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said, The Lord your God, he will raise up for you a prophet like me from among you, from your fellow Israelites. You must listen to him. So Moses spoke of the day when God would raise up a prophet like him who would bring the word of God to the people. And he says, when that day comes, listen to that prophet. Now, in the Old Testament, they understood that was a messianic prophecy, that Moses was speaking of the day when the Messiah would come, who would be a prophet like him. That's Jesus. He is that prophet Moses spoke about in Deuteronomy 18, 15. Like Moses, but greater, providing the perfect redemption of deliverance from sin. And that's what the author of Hebrews is saying. Jesus was like Moses, but greater. Moses prophetically pointed to when the Messiah would come to provide the ultimate redemption, and that is Jesus. Also in verse 6 he says, Christ is faithful as the son over God's house. Moses was a faithful servant in God's house. But Christ is faithful as the son. He is the son of God. He is over the house. And we are his house. If indeed we hold firmly to our confidence and the hope in which we glory. Jesus is the son, the son of God. He is over the whole house. And the house of God, that's us. That's us. We who have been redeemed through faith in Jesus, we have been made into the household of God, the community of God's people, the fellowship of the redeemed. We are the house of God. And the Son is Lord of all. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Jesus is greater than Moses, for Jesus is the Son of God. And he comes to provide us that full redemption, deliverance from sin. And he makes us into the very house, the family of God. So, as we saw yesterday, keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep looking to Jesus, the Son of God, who came to save us, who is Lord of all, who is over all the house, the house of God, formed by his redeeming grace. Join us tomorrow. Uh, there's more in chapter 3 that... Uh, the author of Hebrews wants us to understand about what Jesus has done for us. So I hope you join us next time for our five-minute Bible study in the book of Hebrews.